Hi, I'm Jason from Weekend RV Adventures, and in this video, I'm gonna do a long-term review of the Anderson Hitch. I've been using the Hitch for about five years now, and uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what I like, what I don't like, um, why I'm not going to continue to use it, and let you know what I heard directly from Lippert about the frame warranty. All right, so let's get started with what I like about the Anderson Hitch. First of all, in the five years I've had it, I've never had any issues with anything breaking, cracking. Um, I know people see that aluminum design and they say, oh, it can't be strong enough. I've looked it over, all the welds are solid, nothing's come loose, nothing's broke. So it is a solid design. I've been pulling a uh, about 12,000 pound Cougar fifth wheel with it uh, five years now, no issues at all. So I'd say as far as being robust enough, there's no issue there. Um, Another thing I really like is how lightweight and small it is. I can take that in and out of here in 10, 15 minutes. I can throw it in the back of the camper. I can throw it in the garage. I can do anything I want with it. I don't have to worry about lugging around a big hitch, getting a, my tractor or a lift in the garage to pull it out of there or getting someone to come over and help me lift it up. So the lightweight uh, part of it is awesome. I have the original ball funnel design on mine, which was the uh, metal ball funnel. I know they've switched to a newer uh, plastic ball funnel now, but I can say that with the metal design, it works great. I mean, you don't have to be perfect lined up. Usually my wife will stand back behind me. Uh, she'll, you know, kind of guide me left to right, back up, and she watches from the side when we get close, tells me when to stop. And I could be off by two, three inches, and it'll drop right in there, no problem. Uh, it does kind of jump a little bit when it hits the end because the pressure comes off the jacks and it wants to jump over to line the ball up, but uh, still no major issues. So that works really well. Um, you know, that is uh, kind of the main benefits I see to the Anderson hitch. So the lightweight, um, easy to connect, and just a nice solid design. It's simple and it works. So one thing I did to make it a little easier to use is uh, they recommend bolting the lock mechanism, that little lever you push and pull to lock the ball on directly to your camper. I got some magnets and I stuck it to the pin box with the magnets. That made it pretty easy to uh, adjust if, until I got it happy with where I wanted it. And uh, I didn't have to drill any holes in the camper. I actually have another video about that, so I'll link to it in the description here. Uh, before I get into the things I don't really like, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want more of this kind of content or want to see some of the trips and adventures we go on, subscribe to the channel. All right, now that we talked about what I do like about the Anderson Hitch, there are a couple things that I'm not crazy about that could maybe be improved or changed with the hitch. Um, and some of it's just kind of the design of the hitch itself. So the biggest thing I'm not crazy about with a hitch is there's some movement in the ball. And I'll show you a close up here. If you grab the ball and wiggle it around a little bit, it, it just has a little bit of play front to back. And that front to back play um, is enough to feel it when you're starting and stopping. Um, you feel just a little jerk and a little jerk the other way. Uh, I haven't actually pulled with a traditional fifth wheel hitch on this camper, so I can't really judge the difference. The other thing I'm not crazy about with it is you do have to go up and down more on your leveling jacks. Uh, you have to lift it all the way off the ball and set it down onto the ball every time compared to uh, a normal fifth wheel hitch where you just kind of get the weight off of it and pull out and pull back in. So you're adding some extra wear and tear to your leveling system. I don't know if it really is enough to make any difference. Uh, if you were moving around a lot and hooking up and unhooking constantly, I could see maybe that extra wear and tear adding up over time. For us, we go on, uh, you know, six to 10 trips a year, maybe a little more than that. Uh, probably would never make a difference on ours. So before we get to the frame warranty issue, Let's talk about why I'm not going to continue to use the Anderson Hitch. The biggest reason is I'm selling my Cougar fifth wheel and I just want to try something new when I get uh, my new camper. We've got a new camper on order. Uh, hopefully it should be in here at the end of August or early September. And uh, I'll definitely do a review and show you all about what we decided to go with. But uh, until then, I'm still looking at what other options are out there. Like I said, I've used the Anderson Hitch for five years now. I really don't have any major complaints about it, but I just want to see what else is out there, see if it smooths the ride out, if it's rougher. I'm hoping it goes the other way. I'm looking at a couple options, the Gen Y hitch, uh, the Reese Goose Box, or maybe uh, some other type of traditional fifth wheel hitch, uh, maybe an air ride fifth wheel hitch, just to see what I can do to get a better ride. Um, 
and I'll let you know once I try it. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll regret getting rid of this Anderson hitch. Now, the last question is about the frame warranty. One thing I was told by the dealer when I ordered my new camper is that the Anderson hitch was going to void the frame warranty from Lippert on my new camper. Now I heard the same kind of story and saw it all over the internet when I bought this Anderson hitch five years ago. So I wanted to check with Lippert and find out if there's been any changes since uh, I bought this hitch five years ago. And I talked to a tech at Lippert today and what they told me is Lippert will not endorse the use of any adapters or gooseneck connectors on a fifth wheel frame, except the Reese Goose Box. They've gone through some testing with Reese and certified the Reese Goose Box um, will not cause any problems with the frame. But any other gooseneck adapter, Anderson hitch type adapter, uh, the Gen Y gooseneck, they won't endorse the use of that. That doesn't mean that it will automatically void your frame warranty. So if you have an issue with your frame that is completely unrelated to the use of this, then they're not going to give you any, any hard time, they're not gonna give you an issue about fixing a frame warranty issue. Now, if you have a problem up by the pin box, and these are my words, not Lippert's, but if you have a problem that looks like it could have been caused by the Anderson hitch, adding some unusual stresses to the frame, that's when they won't cover it. Um, so that doesn't mean you're out though. Anderson, um, wanting to sell their product, puts their own warranty on your camper. So if you have the Anderson hitch and have a problem, you're covered up to $5 million by Anderson's warranty. Now that's an insurance policy Anderson took out to cover any issues that may come up. So in the end, would I be worried about losing a frame warranty or losing my camper warranty because of using an Anderson hitch? No, I wouldn't. Uh, you've got Anderson that's gonna stand behind it. You've got Lippert who says they won't endorse it, but unless they can show that that caused the problem, they're still gonna warranty your camper. So don't let anyone sell you on the thought that just because you hooked the Anderson hitch up to your camper, you just voided your warranty. That is not true. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you a little information. Uh, if you wanna go back and watch my original Anderson hitch video, you can see a lot more about how to put it in, how to take it out, um, you know, the connection process. I went through all of that in my first review, so I'll link to that. So please check out the video description. Um, if I've got any links to Amazon in that description, that helps support the channel if you buy through those links. So if you wanna support the channel and help me keep making videos like this, please use those links. And remember, uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel really helps me out too. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.